Going out to breakfast is one of life's simple pleasures. Good morning, how are you guys? A moment to pause with community and enjoy a good meal without the rush. We feel very, very, very fortunate like that people have welcomed us into their lives. Mad Martha's on Plum Island is a funky beachside cafe where salty air mingles with the smell of sizzling bacon. Would you like one slice a week? Kendall Bowie and Kyrie Gerson took over the North Shore Cafe more than a decade ago, but it was familiar territory for the pair. My first restaurant job was here, uh, my freshman year of college. I left to do a couple other things and then uh, met Kyrie and came full circle and 13 years later, we're here. There may be no Martha in the kitchen now, but the original owner is a legend on the island. People always ask if Martha was mad. She wasn't angry mad, she was more kooky mad. And we've heard stories like if people were speeding down Northern, run out with their spatula, slow down, there's kids out here. Gerson is now flipping her own spatula on the open kitchen grill. And their menu is packed with classics, including fluffy French toast, hearty breakfast burritos, and savory scrambles. But the real magic happens on their specials board. That's where we kind of get to have fun and. I would say our regulars don't even look at menus anymore. But a specialty for special days stays on the menu year round. Happy birthday to you. Birthday pancakes with a side of singing from the entire cafe. I love celebrating here because I love listening to how everybody sings and how it's special to me. This quirky cafe has special touches sprinkled on every table from members of the community. One thing that we've really have started here unintentionally was um, our salt and pepper collection. And those are all gifts from customers throughout the years. We have hundreds and hundreds, and that's no exaggeration. From Swiss cows to Hawaiian surfers to shakers straight out of Jaws. And it's never lost on us how exciting it is that when someone's traveling, they think of us. Well, right now we got to go order of 22 sandwiches. From the North Shore to Central Massachusetts. A cup of coffee today. Bread and Butter Diner, nestled in a classic dining car, is a recently opened brother-sister venture run by Zelia Frias and Christopher Barros. The diner kind of fit our mold. It was, you know, small enough, big enough, just enough. This Boylston Diner serves up all the classics, but with a fine dining flair. As a chef, I've been cooking for probably about like 25 years now. A graduate of the New England Culinary Institute and winner of Worcester's Best Chef, Barros knows a thing or two about being in the kitchen. We gotta put ourselves together and try to make, make our dreams come true, kind of, at least my dream. <laughs> but why breakfast? Well, the answer is easy. Just look around. Yeah, can't have a diner and not have breakfast. The transition to diner life took a little patience, but they seem to, well, crack the code on the most important meal of the day. I won't lie, I didn't know what a Western omelet was. So, uh, so I'm like, uh, yeah, it's a, if it's a staple, it's a staple. You know what I mean? It's funny how things change and evolve in, in a person, in a chef. From chicken and waffles, to hash bowls, to the big boy breakfast. Boy, that's three of everything. Three pancakes, three eggs, three toast, three slices of toast, three bacons with cups of coffee never empty and conversation ever flowing. It's breakfast all day long. And I'm taking my French style of what I got taught and then bringing my Portuguese heritage into it and then my American diner, so it's just a huge melting pot here. Huge is the theme of the menu at Percy's Place in Kingston. It's the biggest breakfast menu in New England. Benedict's, check. They've got eight of them. Omelets. Check, 17 different options. Pancakes are yummy. And what about pancakes? Not to worry, plenty of those as well. We're pretty much a regular. We come at least once a week, and the food is very, very good. Percy's is short for Perseverance. The restaurant grew from humble beginnings. Percy started about 40 years ago with uh, Newt and his wife, Ann Heston. They actually started out as a country mart. And now it's a New England staple with five locations. The cornbread was good. Ah, the cornbread yes. is what we're known for. 
Here, homemade is the name of the game. We're very well known for our cornbread and our homemade corned beef hash. Never out of a can. You don't want that stuff. Josh Fazio started out 15 years ago as a server and has worked his way up. Now I, I run all five locations and part owner in them. Breakfast isn't just a meal here, it's a family tradition. That's why our slogan's always been friends and families running you know, a few good restaurants and, and that's the way we like to portray it to our customers as well. Three spots, three stories, three reasons to love breakfast. Breakfast is a important meal of the day. People are coming here to kind of start their day off right. We set the tone, I like to think of, you know, and we think we do a really good job of setting the tone. And back to Bread and Butter Diner, it's all in the family. The brother-sister duo's mom is always helping out, and Zelia's children can be seen in the dining room and behind the counter taking orders. Back to Mad Martha's, a little secret that Kendall and Kyrie shared with us is that neither of them eats eggs. Clearly by the number of people inside Mad Martha's, that doesn't slow them down at all. Coming up, a global take on breakfast. <laughs> 